Magandang buhay po at welcome sa aking channel. Ngayon po ay tuturuan ko po kayo about the 45-45-90 degree special right triangle theorem. So, magbibigay po ako ng illustrations and examples upang maintindihan po ninyo yung lesson. At ginawa ko po itong Tagalog version or Taglist upang sa gawin ay maintindihan po ninyo yung aking pagpapaliwanag. At sa ating pong pagpapatuloy, kung ikaw po ay bago sa aking channel, click mo lang ang like and subscribe upang sa gawin ay ma-update ka sa iba pong video tutorial po na aking i-upload sa mga susunod. Sa ngayon po ay nagagawa po, po ako ng mga learning tasks at performance tasks ngayon pong third quarter. Okay, so ano nga ba yung special right triangle similarity theorem na 45-45-90 degree? Okay, in isosceles right triangle, the hypotenuse is square root of 2 times as long as each of the legs. So, meron po dyan na banggit na hypotenuse and legs. Okay, pipresent ko po muna kung saan po galing yan, 45-45-90 na yan, na right triangle. So, yan po ay nag-start si square. We all know that the square has four equal sides. At ang square, lahat ng angles niya is equal to 90 degrees. Kapag mag-draw po tayo ng diagonal, makakaform po tayo ng two right triangles. Ano po? So, sa isang triangle, since nahati po yung 90 degree, that is 45 degree, at ito rin po ay 45 degree. Subukan po natin kunin yung isang triangle na yan na nasa baba. Ilipat po natin. Okay. So, if you notice, yung kanyang angle dyan is 45 degree, 45 degree, and 90 degree. Okay. So, makakaform na po tayo ng tinatawag doon sa definition na hypotenuse and legs. So, ito po yung kanyang legs. Ang legs po niya ay equal since galing po yan sa square. At yun pong mahabang uh, side ng triangle, ang tawag na po natin dyan ay hypotenuse. Ano po? Okay, so yan po ay yung diagonal ng square. Okay, so ano naman yung mapoform natin na formula from the definition if this is the legs, okay, and this is the hypotenuse. So unahin po natin yung hypotenuse. Ano po? So, h is equal to, sabi niya, square root of 2 times as long as its leg. So, square root of 2 times leg. Or, pwede mo pong balita rin yan, hypotenuse is equal to leg times square root of 2. So, yan po yan. And, how about kung hahanapin naman natin ay leg? Ano po? So, leg is equal to hypotenuse over square root of 2. So, yun na po naman po ang ating gagamitin na formula kapag ang hahanapin natin ay leg. Okay, so let's have an example using the right triangle similarity theorem. Find the measure of hypotenuse in the given figure. Okay, so ang given pong leg is 9cm. Okay, ang hinahanap po ay hypotenuse. So yung formula po natin kanina, hypotenuse is equal to leg times square root of 2. So sa substitute lang po natin given, h is equal to what is leg? 9cm times square root of 2. So therefore, if you multiply, pagsamahin lang po natin yung 9 and square root of 2, then ilalagay natin sa right side yung cm na unit. Hindi po natin pwedeng i-multiply yung 9 and square root of 2. So yun na po yung hypotenuse natin. 9 square root of 2 cm. Okay, so number 2 example naman po tayo. Solve the unknown sides x and y. So, ito po yung figure. If you notice, yung x po dyan is leg at yung y po ay hypotenuse. But, yung isang leg po ay given which is equal to square root of 13 feet. So, therefore, for x or leg, since yung isang leg po ay square root of 13, therefore, ang value naman po ng x is square root of 13 feet. Ano po? Okay, madali pong nakuha. How about for, for y or hypotenuse? So, ang formula po dyan is y is equal to leg times square root of 2. Or hypotenuse is equal to leg square root of 2. So, this will become y is equal to, ang leg po ay square root of 13 feet times square root of 2. So, multiply lang po natin. Since pareho po silang may square root, pwede pong i-multiply yan 13 times 2 is equal to 26. So, square root of 26 feet. So, hindi na po pwedeng simplify yan. And that is your final answer. Okay. So, number 3 example. Solve the unknown side A and B. So, if this is the figure, yung A and B are legs. 
And ang given po ay square root of 18 cm which is the hypotenuse. If you notice, wala po yung measurement ng isang angle na 45. But 45 na po yung isang angle. So therefore, 45 yun na natitira. Ano po? Na unknown. Okay, so yung makukuha po nating value ng A, yun na rin po yung value ng B. Ano po? So nain pa rin yung value ng A. So leg po yan. So, ang formula po dyan ay leg is equal to hypotenuse over square root of 2. So, ano yung leg na unahin natin? A. So, A is equal to, what is hypotenuse? Square root of 18 cm over square root of 2. So, how to simplify this one? Since pareho po silang may square root, pwede pong pagsamahin. So, square root of 18 over 2 cm. And then, pwede na pong i-divide yan. 18 divided by 2 is 9. So, square root of 9 cm. And then, 9 is a perfect square. So, square root of 9 is 3 cm. Okay. So, ang A po natin is 3 cm. So, how about the value of B? Since pareho po sila, then, 3 cm po din yung measurement ng B. Okay. So, kung mayroon po kayong performance task na wala po dyan sa example ko at mahirapan po kayong sagutan, Comment lang po ninyo sa comment box at uh, tutuluan ko po kayong sagutan ito. So thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos.